Hello there, so it seems that quite a lot of people in this game of Armour 3 don't quite know how to set up a scenario whether it be Zeus or not, um, which is quite surprising seeing as Zeus is probably one of the main parts of the game. It's so amazing, it's integral, you can make missions on the fly, it truly is great. Um, I don't suggest you just make missions on the fly though, because then things go wrong, and you don't want that to happen. But this is just going to be a quick video of how to get started with Zeus, how to actually set up a scenario with it, <clears throat> including with Steam Workshop mods and stuff like that. Um, multiplayer, of course, with the respawns and whatnot. So yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. So you want to select your unit. You can use modded or not, it really doesn't matter, as long as you can play as it. And then it should have this red outline, if not, you double click on him and then select player. Amazing. Now you want to change his variable name to Z1, standing for Zeus1, Systems, Zeus, Game Master, put that down literally anywhere, it doesn't matter. Set your owner to the same variable name as uh, you set down your officer or whoever you put down, uh, and then select all add-ons including unofficial add-ons and that'll let you um, use any Steam Workshop add-ons that you have enabled. Now some good uh, add-ons that you really need for Zeusing. Is Achilles is a great one, we use it all the time in PS, which is the group I'm in at the moment and managing. Um you can it gives you so many more options to play stuff down and modules and stuff. It really is great. Um and yeah. Another one is uh Eden Enhance. It lets you change a bunch more settings and attributes and stuff like that, and it really is great. By the way, if you don't haven't even touched the editor at all it's hold right click to move your camera W A S D to move um, where your camera is positioned in the world and Z and Q to go up and down uh, middle mouse click mine's a bit broken at the moment so I have to press really firmly on it to teleport somewhere or you can just simply right click and click go here um, so yeah that's how you create a Zeus scenario but you haven't got any players in it which is a problem because you want to play with your friends which you have <laughs> I don't uh, so you want to <laughs> you want to place down your squad of whatever team you want and then just it doesn't matter where you put them again double click on that squad thing that selects a whole squad and then you just select playable boom they should have all of this lovely coloring um, there you go now if you want to add respawns which you should probably should, especially if you're even started out. You want to go into modules, system modules, and then just type in respawns. Uh, respawn position. Boom. Infantry, whatever side you want the respawn to be for. Doesn't really matter for this. Usually that is fine. If you don't set its name, it will just be as um, wherever it's nearest. So this might be near to Oreo Castro, for example. And then boom, plunk that down wherever you want uh, players to respawn. Uh, go into your multiplayer under attributes. Then you want to select respawn position. I already did this. So under respawn, respawn and custom position. Select respawn position. Then select your respawn delay. That's the basics of respawning. Some of this stuff is a little bit more intricate. Uh, so if you've got tickets, you want one of these selected, obviously. Stuff like that. Um, save loadout is an Eden enhanced thing, don't worry about that. Revive mode, you want that enabled, and c you should probably customize these. Um, what I usually do is uh, first aid kit slash med kit, it's fine. And I up this time to a little bit. But yeah, that is basically that. It's that simple. You can place down any objects that you want. So, say I want them to be spawning a gorilla camp with a. Slammer, <laughs> Slammer tank. Because uh, I'm using Ace, some of this stuff is renamed, by the way. So don't worry about that. I'm not using Ace, actually. I, yeah, I'm stupid. Sorry, but Ace will rename uh, these things because it does that and it likes to do that for some reason. And I'm gonna spawn myself in a pony. And yeah, another thing is for helicopters, you tend to have to put down in a helipad, whether it's invisible or not. Uh, especially for it to land. So if you want it to in, if you want an AI flying and you want it infilling over here, say, you're gonna have to get type in helipad, get an invisible one, 
and they'll land directly on that helipad target that you put down. Otherwise the AI tends to have issues and lands really slowly. Or just doesn't land at all really. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Save your scenario, publish it to the workshop, whatever you want to do. Plan it out, customize it a little bit. And then click here, play, play multiplayer. This is just to test it for example. You can disable the AI thing. You can do that in attributes and multiplayer as well. Should be near the top. So you don't have to click that every time you load it. And boom. You can see our beautiful map here. And you got your respawn position. So it says southeast of Oreo Castro. There you go. Because we didn't set a name for it. But we will respawn here. All of our stuff will be here. You can lock stuff in the Zeus thing if you don't want someone to just fly when you're heli. Um, but yeah. So that's been that guys, uh, the Zeus camera moves exactly the same as the Eden editor camera, however it is harder to place props and stuff down in Zeus and rotate them, just purely because it doesn't give a preview. Uh, so if you're going to do a lot of props and stuff, make sure to do it in Eden. But yeah, that summarises that really, uh, you can place down units and whatnot. it's amazing. If you have enjoyed this tutorial or would want another tutorial which is more detailed or covering something else leave a comment in the comment box smiley face um, but yeah if this has been helpful then good job on listening if this is a bit fast as well I apologize but this is just the basics you can pause the video and do whatever if you want thank you for watching and goodbye